Hi, Bell here. Uh, today we'll be <coughs> reviewing Decepticon Hunter Optimus Prime. Uh, I Decepticon Hunter Optimus Prime and Decepticon Bludgeon. There he is. There. There he is. There. There's the back. This is one of these little spheroid um, minicons. There's a thing for the game. There's all the achung and the warning. And seven accessories and it can turn into that thing. And he's got all the pits you can do that. And there he is there. Uh, now I got this from Sainsbury's. As you can see, I'll try and zoom that in. There it is. Sainsbury's in Irvine in Scotland. And he was it was pretty dear, it was about seventeen pounds as you can see. Seventeen pounds, so they're pretty dear. The only one I saw in the Sainsbury's in Irvine was this one and uh Sideswipe. I didn't see Grimlock, but I'll go further afield tomorrow on a Sainsbury's I know uh, there's one I can go to, it's further afield and try my luck there to see if I can find Grimlock, because if these are out and Sideswipe's out uh, I'm bound to get Grimlock somewhere, and or just bide my time and wait to check the Sainsbury's I got this one out of. So, uh, I'll try that tomorrow. Obviously, I'm going to see, as does uh, further afield, and I've checked the one local to me. It doesn't have any of it. It's the Megatronus, the Warrior Class Megatron. It doesn't have it in it. So, I checked uh, Smith's Toys. They've got Leader Class uh, Skywarp in. The Combiner Wars Leader Class got Skywalk, but like, I've got uh, Generations Jetfire, which is that, that that's the mould they use to, to make Skywalk with, with a bit of jiggery pokery. So I've, I've, I've got that, and I've got uh, Legend Skywalk, so I don't really need that big one. It looks nice, but I've I've, I've got Jetfire and I've got uh, Legends Class Skywalk, you know, from the Combiner Wars line. But, that, that kind of small one, so eh, that'll do me. But yeah, I'll, I'll be looking for Grimlock tomorrow, I'll hunt for that tomorrow, and I'll also look for uh, Warrior Class Megatronus, see if he's out. So that's what I'll do tomorrow. But yeah, it, it's, they're starting to appear in Sainsbury's, so they, they, they might not reach wherever you are yet, so you'll just have to keep checking. But Sainsbury's is the place to go, as does for the Megatronus. Uh, the warrior class uh, for newer figures like Megatronus and Sainsbury's for these so that's where to go uh, Smiths haven't got them, I don't I haven't checked Toys R Us yet, I'll check them tomorrow see if they've got any of these in, I doubt it and see if they might have Megatronus in, I doubt it but I'll check that tomorrow and I can report back but uh, on the various websites I'll put, put this video onto but uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'll go on with that. I've whittled on enough. I'll go on with this. So I'll get this out of the box and you can see it out and we'll get it together. Okay. Back, back in a minute. All right. Here he is and out of his package. And in his uh, truck mode, it does kind of roll. The wheels are not that great on it. But it's kind of roll, and there's all these orange bits, the car armour, and the big weapon that he makes. And there's a little minicon. Hey, there it is there. See? Superb. So, without further ado, at the moment, we'll actually, we'll, we'll, we'll do this first, and then I'll, put, I'll go from armour to to uh, the big weapon, okay. So first thing we'll do is do the minicon. Very simple. You just open it up. I'll try to open it up. What tell there? You grab a hold of it somewhere and it opens up. Oh, one of the hands just fell off. It's all right. It's in a ball joint. A little clip thing here. Um. Ah, you prize it open there. You prize it open there. Because there's a peg in there. And you open it up like that. There's a peg there, as you can see. You can see the peg there. 
and you just get your fingers in there and prise it open and it just opens like that and lower the hands down and that's him that's um, his name get his name here because I forgot his name Bludgeon it's Bludgeon so that's Bludgeon I'll bring it up so that you see Bludgeon I think it's focusing on other things at the moment. Oh, nothing out the road, man. This thing focusing on other things. That's better. It focuses on other things, I think that's what half this problem with this phone is. So, there he is, there. You can see his detail on him. His little head. I don't think his head moves. No, it doesn't move. It's static. His arms move. And... There's a, the back end of them there. So that's bludgeon. It's just a little kind of ball shaped thing, even though it's not complete because his toes stick out, you can't exactly roll it. So that's bludgeon. Now we'll go with Optimus. What you, want, what you want to do is you want to take the hands off first. You can peg from the back. I'll do this in reverse order. See, there's pegs there. And they fit into these holes there. Simple. Then you are supposed to lower this bit if it'll lower. There it is. Oh, that bit just fell off. That's great. What have I broken? Oh, it hasn't broken then. Just clips back on there. Okay, I'll start again. I don't know how that bit came off. It lowers up like that and it lowers that bit down because that bit automatically raises and lowers the way you want to put it. You expose the head. You raise them up like that and push it in. Push that right in like that. Lower the hands. Oh, the hands are in ball joints, the hands. You have them whatever way you want. Put like that. And I think that's it. Oh, and you separate the legs. Because it's pegged them with that huge peg there into that slot there. And that's Optimus and his... I'll stand them. And his um, robot mode. You can stand a bit. Thing with but there he is there. There he is there. There's Optimus Prime. Ah, he's looking kind of cool. Let's see, he's got all the articulation, ball joints in the arms, move all for transformation purposes. Uh, the the head even rotates slightly. It doesn't go up and down. It's not in a ball joint. These are ball jointed, it bends at the knees, ball joint, and you can get some good poses out of them. Uh, it's basically it, it doesn't have any waist swivel unfortunately. That's basically it. Oh, you can put his weapon in his hand. This one. You can have him with the... You can have it lower down if you want, just stick it there like that. He's want to, he's want to do the splits. I'm not doing very good with this video today. There he is. There. So you can have him with his axe in his hand. And I'll show you something else in a minute. Hold on. Yeah, there he is, and here he is next to Warrior Class Optimus. So you can see. Or class of, he's not as big, but he does have a similar articulation, you know, in the arm, ball joints. He's not like the Legion class, it's a little less articulated. So, I mean, obviously the warrior class is better. I mean, <laughs> that goes without saying. And, but, uh, yeah, the, the small one's decent and all. It's like a kind of ha a halfway step between that and the uh, Legion class one. So... 
Ah, it's, it's really cool, really cool um, um, little figure. Okay, just show you them next to each other, just show you the size of it. So, next thing we're going to do, move him out the road, is put these other parts together to form this bigger weapon. Oh, uh, no, what we're going to do first is we're going to add the armour onto him first. That's what we're going to do. We're going to add the armour onto him. That's what we're going to do. So, we'll take his weapon off, if we can get the damn thing out. Uh, let's see how I do this. I know you put these on there. They've got little pegs that can fit into these holes there. So you just pop them on there, like that. Pop that one on there. Pop that one on there. Right. The arms, I think, are the similar. I think the arms are similar. Yep, there's uh, two little pegs. There's one in there where my thumb is, and there's one in the outer, and in the arm, there's a hole there, and I don't, you can just see it where my thing, my thumb is, there's a hole right, there's a place for that other peg right in there. So you just pop that on there like that, and same with the other side. Just pop the ones on there, they, they can only go on in one uh, way, so... You can't mix them up. You can't have that one sitting in there because the, the peg goes in the wrong positions. You can only have them going on one way. And that goes on there like that. And finally, there's two holes. I don't know if you can see them. Either side of his, the top of his chest. You can't really see that. But there is two. There is two holes there, believe it or not, I just about see that one and that one there. And that's where these fit into. Like you, 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 when you get this, you do just clip that on there. It's a bit difficult to clip on there, you feel as if you're going to break it. Because it doesn't feel as if it's going to go on properly, but you just persevere with it. You push them in there, and you close over the mask. And that's him, and he's armoured up mode. And I'll give him his weapon again to show you off that. There he is there, an armoured up mode. That's cool. You almost wish the warrior class one could have the armoured up mode. <laughs> but there unfortunately there isn't, or not yet anyway. I haven't done that so far. I don't know if they'll do them all because, like I said, I saw Sideswipe. I know that there's been video reviews of uh, Grimlock. I haven't seen a Bumblebee one yet. So, or uh, uh, Strongarm. So, or Jazz, or whoever. Sideswipe, whoever the other characters are, Autobots and Decepticons. In fact, I haven't seen any Decepticon ones yet with these armours on it, so... God knows when Megatronus is going to come into it and get an armoured up um, Megatronus. That'd be pretty cool. But so far it's just uh, Sideswipe, Grimlock and Optimus. Whether Bumblebee and Strongarm and the rest of them come into it and the Decepticon ones come into it, I don't know. I've no idea. Maybe they'll release later in the year. But, uh, oh aye, another one is um, uh, Drift, isn't it? Drift. So... I don't know when the armoured ones come up for then, or if they're coming out, but I would love a Megatronus one. Megatronus this size would be pretty cool. It's so articulated to the Legion one, and also getting the... It's just that in-between stage between the Legion and the, the Warrior. So it'd be pretty cool. But so far, no, we haven't had one yet. There's been no sign. I'm, I'm sure it'll be coming. Right, uh, like I said... I'll now get it, I'll take these bits off, take these off and I'll get it, what I originally was going to do is put it into its big uh, weapon mode, if I can get these off, a wee bit tight in there, ah, there we go, pull them off, that goes off there, they're not easy to come out, I'll pull that off, pull that off, 
and remove that. I'll put him to the side because we're dealing with the weapon just now and I'll, I'll come back to him in a minute. Right, what you want to do here, if I can remember how to do it, <laughs> this only goes on one way uh, as well, as far as I can gather. Right, you've got, I don't know if you can see that very well. You've got a slot there and a peg hole there. Uh, the peg for that slot and the peg for that peg hole is right there. So you just pop these in at the top. It's the top one, not the bottom one. And one side like that. That sounds that, see? And you do the same on the other side. Exact same. Fits in the exact same place on the other side. Like that, you've got this. And you do the bottom ones. You've got the peg hole there. And there's a peg there. And that goes into that peg hole there. So you so, so these two peg holes go into these these two pegs go which these two pegs go into. Okay, so you get these two peg holes, which these two pegs are going to go into. So, you just pop them on like that, if I can. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. That's the wrong side. Ah, that's the right side. That's the right side. Let's see, there's only one way it can go. If you try and do it the other way, the pegs are in the wrong position. So, there's only one way it can go. You just have to, if you do it the wrong round, the wrong way, you just try it the other way, from the other side. And that's that. That's that together. See, it's taking shape. Try to get this zoomed in, man. Right, on this one, there's two kind of holes there, and you've got these two pegs on either end there. And they just slot into there. Again, uh, you want to try and oh, wait a minute. You want to have it facing that way up, going that way, not the not the other way around that way. So make sure it's like a V shape. It's facing. And look at it. It's that going in that way, okay. And you just slot them in like that, and you bring that thing over like that, and that is how you do it. That is a big mega weapon, a big claw grabbing, grab the uh, claw grabbing thing. The translucent orange in this is putting this thing off. I'll, I'll just show it up close. There it is. There, there it is. There. See, that's how the things go together, and there it is. There. I don't know if I can actually grab this. It's supposed to pretend to grab it. And the instructions, but it can't actually grab onto it. There's, there's no uh, moving parts for it to, to actually close the, the grabbers. And you can put this in his hand. And, oh, that's what happens. These things come apart. There we go. You just squeeze them back together. If they, if they come apart on you, just squeeze them back together again. I think it'll be top heavy. He's supposed to hold it, but obviously he's going to be top heavy. So, and that's him there. I'll have to hold him because if I don't, he'll, he'll just fall over. Because that, that's, that's the problem with this thing. He's too top heavy. But I think he's supposed to just go down like that and have him lying there like that. And, and can I grab it like that? Because it does show that in the instructions, I'll show you. Because it, it does show that in the instructions, like he's doing that with that and he's got the he's got the thing on the ground there. And that's what I'm trying to represent, re recreate. So, yeah, so that's how you do it. But if you try and hold it up, he's top heavy and it'll just fall over. That's the downside of this. Obviously, these are instructions that shows you how to do that there. 
So, yep, these are instructions, obviously. Uh, now, oh, the other thing, because he's that size, I know you'll want to know this. Can this one hold that weapon? Well, we'll just have a little go, shall we? The holes might be too big. He can actually hold it. He can actually hold it. And he's more secure. See, he's more secure because he can actually hold the weapon and not fall over. So you can put that weapon in his hand, but you can't attach the weapon pieces to him. <laughs> so if you want to get that smaller Optimus, yes you can you, uh, use it on the uh, warrior class figure. And it does actually stand. See, I can actually have that leaning out of that and he still stands. He doesn't fall over like the, like the smaller one does. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So you can actually do that and the peg holes do actually fit it. It doesn't fall over, see? It's not falling over. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. The other thing, although it's quite tight in there, I'm going to have to take that out. I want to show you what you can do, because it does, even though it looks like a, a grabbing claw, and that's the way it's supposed to be using instructions, if you turn it that way and set it down, It does actually look like a gun emplacement. It looks like a kind of gun for he can stand there and I'll kind of lower that bit and he can actually stand there and look as if he's actually gonna, gonna fire the gun. Uh, the gun can uh, elevate up or anything like that so it's just static, you can't have it uh, aiming up the way. But it's another little thing you can actually do because these do look like uh, legs and that long thing looks like a, the barrel of a gun. So it's just a, another little thing. I don't know if other uh, reviews show it off like that. Obviously it's not meant to be used like that but it's just a little afterthought. Even though the gun can <laughs> aim up and down like that, it, it aim up, uh, you can have it. It's just a way to in interact the Minicon with. You can have it as a kind of gun emplacement or something. So there we go, or a kind of gun, a big kind of cannon. So there we go. There we go. So that's another thing you can use that for. Uh, like I say, hopefully I'll get the Grimlock one. That's one I hope to get tomorrow. I'll try these other scene species that I know are, are around, and I'll try and get Megatronus, uh, Warrior class. Okay, oh, uh, I'll see what other ones of these are out, but I don't think, like I said, only two, uh, the only two I saw was Optimus and, um, I'll put them back in the shot. The, the only ones I saw was Optimus and, um, Sideswipe. Didn't see Grimlock. So that's basically been, uh, Decepticon Hunter. Optimus Prime and Decepticon, Decepticon Hunter Optimus Prime and Decepticon Bludgeon. Okay, so happy hunting. Like I said, you'll find them in Sainsbury's now. I don't know if they've been out there for weeks. I only just recognised them there today. And they are a little dear, £17. You're going to have to pay for them. Hmm. But, I mean, with the play value, you, get, you can use that as a cannon or, or a grabbing weapon like a cannon like that with a mini coin. You can make the the warrior class figures hold that weapon even though they can't actually attach them as armour. And of course you can attach that as armour. So you're getting a lot of kind of playability value out of it, even though it doesn't justify the kind of high price. But it's it's whatever you want to pay for it. If you want to pay that or wait till it comes down in price, that's up to you or get it off the internet, it might be cheaper. But they're out there anyway in Sainsbury's okay. So thanks very much, bye for now.